With the Republican and Democratic conventions now over, the Commission on Decolonization's Independence Task Force is analyzing how stateside Republicans and Democrats view Guam's quest for self-determination. This is part of a continuing effort by the Commission on Decolonization Task Force to educate Guam's public about self-determination and the three status options available to Guam's residents. Dr. Michael Devavqua, co-chair of the Independence for Guam Task Force, says knowing where these parties stand is important because the quest for self-determination does not end at a plebiscite vote. The real work, he says, begins after the plebiscite, where there will be negotiations with the U.S. government. The Vavqua says there is a difference in the way U.S. Republicans and Democrats look at self-determination for U.S. territories. He says both Republicans and Democrats have very different tones and positions when talking about U.S. territories. The Republican Party uh, in their platform was very like business focused. So they were saying that we should undo any harsh economic restrictions on the territories, such as the Jones Act. Um, but in terms of their support explicitly for self-determination, they don't use the word self-determination in it. In fact, they only have uh, two lines which refer to how that they acknowledge that the people of Guam or the territories have the right to seek the extension of American rights to them. Vivacqua says U.S. Democrats are in contrast to Republicans with how they view self-determination for the U.S. territories. Their position is that they support self-determination for the people in the territories and self-governments and that they support that the people in the territories have the right to determine their future. So it's very general as well, but it is also very clear though that um, they recognize that this is an issue and that the people in the territories take it seriously and so they will in a general way back them up on that. The Commission on Decolonization is scheduled to meet sometime in August. Governor Calvo has informed the Commission that he will not seek a plebiscite vote in the November elections.